Hi everyone, it's Rack from Rack Blaze, and today we're doing a new unboxing. And on today's unboxing is going to be, um, Blake, you know, I said I would do a unboxing in the last video. I'm sorry I didn't post the video three hours later, like I said, but I got a bit tired. But anyway, I'm here right now, I'm about to do, uh, to do, I'm about to do the unboxing. And I'm going to do a couple of unboxings, mostly like I said for my birthday sack I got. And here's the first, here's the first set of toys I'm about to unbox. I thought this would be a pretty interesting look to show. Here, maybe I can try. That's right, it's the Bully's Basics Official Action Figures. Yay. Don't want to do a close up. These are the Bully's Basics Official Action Figures. We're actually going to we're actually going to box all four of these. We have my parents somehow found all these Bully's Basics Action Figures without me even without me even knowing. Anyway, it doesn't matter though, because I got them and now here they are. I got them for my birthday. And they look great. I decided to unbox them because I, because I know everyone here I'm sure, because I know Bally's Basics in Education and Learning is a very popular game right now. Uh, and seeing how the action figures, plus I think the plushies and other stuffs coming out, and it seems like all four action figures, or at least there's probably there's just the first sleeve on the back. I decided to unbox them. So anyway, enough talk. Now let's get into the get into the video. Let's do Happy Baldy first of all, not the crazy angry Baldy. That'll be next. And well, you know, I think all of them have um, little, yeah, it says Series 1 on it, and on uh, top of here, it says can't, uh, Coin, Coin, and four, and ages 14 and up. Hmm. And so here's Baldy, he comes with a couple of accessories, he comes with a little notepad we have, and a quarter, obviously that's a toy quarter, but still, and I think all these guys have a bit of a couple little words down here, they say, from the game, like, Baldy, hi, welcome to my schoolhouse. At least he says that in the beginning, yeah, he says that in the beginning of the game. Oh, you guys, look at that. It's the little room. It says playtime on it. But anyway, guys, this looks... Come on. There we go. This looks great. It's Baldi, the articulated action figure. I don't have the plushies yet. I don't know if they're out yet. And here's Baldi currently, and oh, wow, nice. He looks great. And, uh... So he has pretty good articulation. We'll do like a regular action figure. You're able to bend his knee. Both his knees, so now he's kinda like he's like riding the school bus. So you have arms, you can't stretch his arms out, but you can we can sort of stretch them out and turn over. His head doesn't move, neither his body. But he doesn't have all the articulation as like a chief figure arts action figure of Dragon Ball, but he has pretty good articulation and uh, I like him. He he has a really good paint job and he's a really good articulated figure. He might even be able to stand or somehow get him to. But yeah, he's definitely a great figure to get. He's pretty happy. And oh yeah, let's check out his little accessories. First thing you got here is his little notepad. And uh, you know, it's kind of small. It even has all the great features that the notepad, real notepad, the real notepad has. And I was, interested, I was super interested to see how we were getting a toy of this. Plus he has little holding hands. Or hands that you can hold stuff in. So we can sort of hold stuff like this. For example, we can, I guess, sort of hold this. I don't think that will stick too well. But anyway, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this Baldy. I know he's mostly just a happy Baldy, not the angry Baldy as you see in the game, but hey, Blue Boys, basically, I suggest you get this toy. Plus, especially if you get the articulated big pieces. Here's the quarter. It's uh, mostly just a regular quarter, except it's a toy version. It's basically just a regular quarter. It's, uh, it's like painted all white. Again, it's not a real quarter painted white, it's just a quarter. And, you know, it says everything. It yeah, actually says what well, everything like a real core has, and it's the one you get in the game, so that's cool. I guess, I guess, it's, I guess it's his own quarter he gives you, huh? Interesting. Oh well, yeah, guys, I would definitely recommend getting the Happy Baldy. He's very articulated, has a lot of good figures. Now let's open, uh, let's open Principal of the thing next. Now he was a character that was also very interested in getting. Now he says no running in the halls, which is probably one of the only things he says in the game. Well, he also says detention for you, but I don't think no running in the halls is like his catchphrase. Oh, I never noticed that before. You can clearly see Angry Baldy at the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, let's unbox this guy. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, a little thing fell. <laughs> it comes with two accessories too. One fell. 
But here he is, and uh, he looks very great, actu uh, great actually. Sort of like Baldy, except the legs can't extend like uh, Baldy has. Like his legs sort of extend like this, but his can't. He can bend the legs a bit, but that's you well, know, extend the arms a bit. Hmm. No running in the halls. He also has a bit of a bow tie here, which I never actually noticed was in the game. But uh, I don't know. That looks pretty cool. I don't know why he um I don't know why he always has that face, but I, I, that's what he looks like in the game. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll never regret getting him too. He has great articulation, like Baldy, great paint job. He looks exactly like the um, the version he is in the game. And I think he can also stand very well too. So yeah, he would definitely be great. Plus, he even has a little pointing finger he has. Like uh, how does he look? Like this sort of something like this, I think. So yeah, great articulation, great great paint job, great all, overall design, great everything. And let's check out the little pieces he have. He has. First thing he has is this, it's a briefcase. Now, I don't play Baldi's Basics that much, excuse me, because I'm playing games like Fortnite, but, uh, I don't know, it's mostly the green briefcase. I mean, as we compare it to the ThinkPad, ThinkPad might be a more, more interesting thing. Also, where do you even get this? Is this, like, a decoration? Is this his real briefcase he goes to, like, maybe when he's done with his job as a principal? Here's the lock. Here's because it's a bit of a lock. Now, as you can use this to lock doors, I, I do know about this uh, little item. I will say, um, these characters do get a lot of good items. So, yep. Next up we're going to be revealing is, uh, hmm, I know, the bully. I actually have the bully. They don't have playtime out yet, but they have the bully. And, uh, he looks like how he does in the game. <laughs> he says, I'm going to take your candy. Huh. The only real line I remember him saying is, give me something great. Which he also says, too, but, yeah. It also comes with two more interesting accessories. Oh, this time his back's a bit more different too. As you can clearly see, it's sure so the hallway. But then we ball the under it, but yeah. So we open this guy up. Oh man, he looks pretty he, pretty, he actually looks pretty cool. Now his legs can be sort now his legs can actually be extended. He mostly only more, he's almost only sit though. And uh, his articulation is basically the same thing as all the bully toys are, except this time his arms can go like the his arms can go up and down, sort of like this. But yeah, it looks like how a regular bully does. With a really surprised look on his face, which I guess is how he looks like in the video game. He also comes with two accessories. For one thing, he comes with a, um, a little blue briefcase instead of the usual green one. It's basically the same thing, just a different color. He also comes with a uh, mug. It, well, it's, it's mostly the soda can, except it looks like a mug this time instead of a regular soda can. It even says... Restart, refresh, B soda. I don't like the whole B soda thing. But yeah, Bully is definitely a great character to get, especially if you love the Bully. First thing I think if you love Bully's basics, you just get all the characters. But the articulations are all the same. I mean, it does have great articulation, so I'm kind of glad it's the same. But yeah, great texture design, the great overall design. His head, oh, his head actually moves in this one, too. Does principal head move? Uh, oh, principal head moves, too. Bully's head never moves, so keep in mind that. Anyway, that's. Anyway, quickly enough, there's only um, one character left, and that's Angry Baldy. Yes, I'm sure that's the one we were all looking forward to. And, um, I'm sure when he turns angry, you don't really hear him in the game, but it says right here, Baldy hears everything. I think, um, is that a saying from one of the notepads you collect? I think that's what it's from, but I don't know. Same type of background as the original, uh, as the other two, first two I did had. Here he is. It's Angry Ball, the articulated action figure. See the right, right down there. He also comes with two accessories like them all. And, uh, wow, he looks very cool. He, there's nothing really different about this Baldy than that he's angry. And he comes with two other different accessories also. Now, um, clearly, as you can tell, he has the same articulation as the um, good Baldy, which I guess would technically make sense. So yeah, I would definitely say get both though. I got like I guess Angry Boy is more known because that's when he turns into the real villain, the real villain of the game. But yeah, I would say definitely get both. I personally think it would be cool to like collect both. But yeah, Angry Boy might be one of my favorites mostly because I don't know his design looks great. I especially love the fact that he's, he's very angry. Bully was also a great design. He was more articulated and great than I thought. Principal thing's pretty cool. But I don't know he's not my most favorite character in the game. And Good Baldy, I don't know. I mean I like Good Baldy, but I'm I'm gonna be Angry Baldy. Gah. The accessories he comes with um, are two things. It comes with a time, time clock, which if you look on the back, you can sort of see you can hold it a bit. 
And yeah, I know I don't, I don't I forgot what the time thing does is slow down time or something or slow him down or I forgot what it does. And let's not forget the most iconic weapon he uses. His little ruler. Whack, whack. Oh, let's see if he can hold it. We'll say he can hold it. He also has a little hands where he can hold things like the good baldy does. So if you look at the ruler, as it saw everything pretty cool. It looks like a real ruler, obviously. I will say, however, it's a bit hard for him to hold these objects. Oh, oh wait, no, I got it. And uh, I think I almost got it. Hang on. And, uh, yeah, I think I got it. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll try after. Anyway, yeah, guys, that's it so far for the stream. So, uh, basically, I gotta admit, these action figures are actually very cool. And I would suggest you definitely get them. I will review the plushies when I start, when, I, when my, my parents and I find them. But I would definitely agree that uh, these these action figures are very cool to get, especially the accessories they have. And yeah, I will review more Bully's Basics toys and play Bully's Basics soon. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it now. Um, stay tuned for maybe more unboxing videos either, either tomorrow or a couple of days from now. Probably tomorrow. But I can't I can't really promise that. Anyway, but that's it for now, guys. Bye.